today we're covering drone basics. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, my name is Trisha and you are watching DIY in 5. The show where we make tech easy enough that you can do it yourself all in a video that's 5 minutes or less. Consumer available drone tech has really taken off in the last 10 to 15 years pun intended. And with it, regular old photography and videography enthusiasts like you and I can now capture images that used to cost thousands of dollars to even attempt. Pretty cool. But getting into drone photography can feel a bit overwhelming, so today's episode will help demystify things a bit. Let's get started. First, you'll want to choose a drone that's right for you. Where and when do you plan on shooting? Some drones are meant for indoor flight, others have built-in lighting for low light or nighttime conditions, some fly further than others, these are all important considerations. Some drones have a camera included while others leave you to attach your own, like a GoPro. If you already have a preferred tiny camera that you know how to operate, then getting a compatible drone may be a great call so you can focus on the flight without having to learn a new camera at the same time. That said, drones with cameras included sometimes offer extra features. When shopping for a drone, you may find that you want features like smartphone feed, which will show you what your drone is capturing on your phone, or geofencing to keep your drone within a certain area. That can be incredibly helpful depending on local regulations where you're filming. Some drones have tracking features that use visual recognition and your phone's GPS to help you take the best shot. Tripod mode can keep things steady, and extra sensors can help newbie flyers avoid collisions. Keep in mind that you don't need to necessarily shill out for the best specs. Find the drone that's right for you, and know that there are drones out there for every budget. Once you've got your drone, know the rules and regulations of where and how you can fly. Here in the US, drones weighing between 0.55 and 55 pounds require Federal Aviation Administration registration. And you can't fly around airports, natural disasters, or large unprotected crowds, among other places. Check your local rules because fines will vary country to country. Also, before you take flight, check the weather. A strong wind will ruin even the best intended shot. The UAV Forecast app has a wealth of info including cloud cover, wind speeds, rain chances, and more. Take that into consideration, then get packing. Some accessories you might want to pack include batteries. A typical drone will fly for about 10 minutes, and if you get a really high-end option, you might eke out 20 to 25 minutes, so an extra battery or two will be helpful. You may also want to invest in propeller guards to help protect your propellers and anything they may run into in the event of a flight collision or rough landing. Propeller lights are cool if you plan on flying at night so you can keep your eyes on the prize, and they look nifty too. And of course, drone shots take up a lot of space, so make sure you've got a few extra micro SD cards as well. The Kingston Canvas Go microSD comes in capacities up to one terabyte and is a perfect pairing for many drones on the market. With all that said, start small. Do some test flights before trying to capture your magnum opus. The more hours you fly, the better you'll become. Don't forget to keep in mind your general photography basics like composition, light and shadows, rule of thirds, etc. And if you need a refresher on those, we've got those videos on this channel too. Have a great flight, everyone, and share your tips in the comments. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see future tech tips, and I'll see you next time.